Often you hear older folks say that time passes by so fast, and as I sat down to write this little rant about the last year, I could not help but think how I wished it was the end of 1982 and not 2022. Perhaps it has something to do with the fact that when comparing the two, it's like comparing a royal wedding on television to attending your great aunt's funeral whom you had met twice in your life and happened to have left you a small fortune and ended up shagging the girl working at the funeral home. One of those was memorable. A few things come to mind when you think of what 1982 brought us. Michael Jackson's Thriller album, the first episode of Late Night with David Letterman, Ebony and Ivory was a number one song, the Academy Awards were still relevant and were hosted by Johnny Carson, the cost of a gallon was 91 cents, a loaf of bread cost 50 cents, Canada became wholly independent with the Canada Act, doctors were doing amazing stuff like successfully implanting the first artificial heart. Not to mention, our sex symbols were just natural beauties like Lonnie Anderson, Catherine Bach, Joan Collins, Farrah Fawcett, Jane Fonda, Daryl Hannah, Heather Thomas, Heather Locklear, and Olivia Newton-John. Even when comparing movies, 2022 brought us the release of 365 Day sequels, a remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Pray for the Devil, Blacklight, Jackass Forever, Black Adam, Morbius, and Thor Love and Thunder, while E.T., Rocky III, The Toy, Poltergeist, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, Tron, 48 Hours, and Blade Runner were just some of the long list of classic movies released in theaters in 1982. And don't get me started on technology, 2022 brought us the Metaverse, a sort of 3D version of The Sims, and a sad attempt at bringing to life a version of a future described in Ready Player One or The Matrix. It brought the iPhone... Uh, excuse me, the iPhone 14. Something called the Movano Ring, which promised to track heart rate, respiration and blood oxygen levels. I guess sort of like the mood rings of the 1980s on steroids. Magic Leap 2 augmented reality headset. Hmm. Don't know about you, but I spent hours looking into my Viewmaster and thinking just how realistic it was. It only took us 83 years to improve on it, I guess. Maybe I'm being unfair, but 1982 introduced the Commodore 64, Sun Microsystems was founded, Lotus 123 was developed, we saw the first commercially released CD player, the Sony CDP-101, computer-generated graphics and movies took a giant leap forward with the movie Tron, which was one of the first movies to use such graphics. Miss Pac-Man was introduced, and Nike Air Force Ones. Arthur C. Clarke released the 2010 Odyssey 2, TV introduced us to Cheers, Family Ties, TJ Hooker, and of course, Knight Rider. All this should give you an insight into people's desire for creation. It seemed like everyone dreamed and aspired to make the world a better place. I mean, even the MTA had launched a five-year program to restore the New York subway system. Well, I think they're still working on that, but I digress. Heck, we even released Diet Coke and Bud Light in 1982. And new companies like Adobe, Compaq, E-Trade, Kenneth Cole, and Newman's Own Food were all founded. For me, 2022 can only be equated to being forced by my mother at 12 years old to go to her third cousin's wedding, whom I've never met, instead of staying home in my pajamas and playing Defender and Pitfall. But don't get me wrong, even though I wrote all of this after quite a few glasses of Pinot Noir, if 2022 was your year to remember, who am I to shit on your parade? But I do want to say to Generation Z and Alpha out there who think that these are just the ramblings of another old nostalgic fool who can't let go of the past, that the only way they could ever understand is by finding an old man and a kid driving a DeLorean and hit 88 miles an hour to fully comprehend what 1982 was all about. Sure, it was a year of leg warmers, oversized blouses and cool hairdos, and perhaps seemed like a strange time in history to some, but it was one of the most important that helped shape the world we live in today. While 2022 will be but another year people look forward to flipping the switch off and forgetting about. Here's hoping that 2023 is a lot better. Thanks for watching.